today I'm going to uh, show you a really cool boomerang, boomerang plane that was designed by John Collins. Uh, John Collins is a really good friend of mine. He is the holder of the world record for the longest flight of a paper airplane. And he is, oh, let me let one more person in here. And uh, he is, this is his book. Hopefully you can see, let me uh, get my, uh, let's see, spotlight here. Okay, fantastic. And let me move my chat. All righty. So this is the World Record Paper Airplane book. Uh, this is his latest book. It's got all kinds of cool stuff in it. Um, because it's currently available for sale, I can't share the diagrams. However, he's got um, a video online. If you look up um, the paper airplane guy, his name is John Collins. He actually has a video on how to do this boomerang plane. So you could revisit that after our lesson today. So uh, his name again, John Collins. And uh, you want to look for boomerang airplane online uh, on YouTube. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So we have our plane sheet of um, eight and a half by 11 paper. So we're going to go ahead and fold it in half. So go ahead and with the paper airplane, you want to make nice, clean, crisp folds. Um, and the second half of this lesson will be how to fly, properly fly this model. OK, so now that you have it folded in half, we are going to make a little pinch mark halfway uh, on the paper. So what I like to do is look at the folded edge. We're going to bring this over to this side, but we're only going to fold, make a little pinch fold here in the middle. So you bring it over line up your edges and just make a little pinch fold here because we just want to mark the halfway point. We're not going to go all the way across, just a little pinch mark here. You're going to open it up. Now you're going to take the outside edge and you're going to bring it up to that mark that you just made. Let me just get my pen here. And we are going to fold, bring it up to that point and we're going to go ahead and fold it all the way across, like so, and then unfold it. And so now, at this point here that you just created, we are going to make a fold that goes from this point to this corner up in here. So what I do is take this and just kind of, if you fold it along that, that uh, uh, that little crease that you did, just kind of make a little pinch there. Then you can roll this paper and adjust it so that it gets right where you need it to be, which is right up here at the point here. Okay. And then go ahead and make your crease. Nice, clean, crisp creases. If you've got a pen or a bone folder, it really helps, I think, for this model. Um, and uh, it'll just make it nice and flat. Okay, so now we're going to take this flap and lift it up. And you'll notice that there's a pocket on the inside here. You see this pocket? So what we want to do is we want to squash fold this. So you want to slide your finger into all the way in so that it pops open like this. And then we're squashing it. You want to use this fold here and line it up with this whole center like this. So go ahead and squash fold it. So fold it down. So you end up with a nice triangle here. Okay, make sure it's all nice and flat. And then we're going to turn the model over and fold along that line. So we're just kind of splitting, making it even on both sides. So go ahead and fold that back. Nice, clean, crisp fold. OK. And so now what we want to do is let's turn this back over to the, fir the front side, the, this side here. And we're going to take, you have two flaps here. Take this top flap, and we're going to fold it just shy of where this pocket is, because this will eventually slip into this pocket. Do you see that pocket that you created here? So it doesn't go all the way to the end. We want to stop a little bit up from that in order to allow for room to tuck the, the flap in. So we're going to bring that down. 
and to right about this point. And then you want to line up this edge here. See, so not like this, not like that. So you want to line it up so it's flush with this edge here. Remember, you leave a little space down here. Now go ahead and fold that all the way across. Okay, looks like that. And so now we're going to take, so now what we're going to do is we're actually creating a little, um, a, uh, we need to identify this as a point. In order to do that, we have to lift this up here. You could kind of watch this first so that you know what the maneuver is. And we're actually going to fold We're going to take this edge here. Okay, so here's your point. Okay, identify the point. Make sure that you've got the model oriented like I have it so that we can all start on the same side here. Um, so we're working on this point. We have to narrow this. The fold, it's going to be a valley fold. This edge is going to come over to this edge here. Okay, so you're going to lift it up from here and bring it over. Start from here. So make sure that this is a point. And make sure that this edge lines up here all along this edge, OK? You want to hold this in place. And then underneath, you're going to fold it until it stops, like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. But this is where the fold occurs. On the outside, it looks like this. So again, the fold is. Okay, let's try this pen here. So you want to lift it up from underneath. This edge lines up with this edge like this. So if you bring it over, see this kind of doesn't lay flat. But these, this edge lines up here, OK? So you want to fold this underneath. Now what you want to do is take this, this point here on the left side, this point is going to meet this bottom edge. So as you, as this, as you flatten this, this flap comes down, you want to bring it in place so that it meets this bottom edge here. So this is, again, flat. You've got this meeting the bottom edge. And then now you're doing a big squash fold. So the fold is here and here. So it should look like this. And then now this is kind of a fun part. You're going to take this point. And if you lift it up, remember that pocket that we saw earlier on, this, this Find the pocket here, which is right under here. So it's underneath. If you lift this up, the pocket is right in here. So this point is going to, you're going to slip it inside that pocket, just like I'm doing like this. Let me turn it up so that you can see. So this slides into the pocket. And it should flatten just like this. OK. And so now we're going to do the same sequence of folds on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, turn it over. So go ahead, take the model and turn it over. So your model should be oriented exactly like this. And we're going to repeat that sequence of steps. So the first part of this step is taking this top point and we're bringing it down, but not bringing it down all the way. Remember, you just want to leave a little a little bit of space, so it's not quite at the bottom. You want to take this and bring this down to this point while lining up, keeping these edges flush, like that. What I do is I kind of line it up, start my fold here, and then go ahead and fold it all the way across. OK. Remember, you have, you have that little bit of space right here, OK? And so now the second part is taking this here 
and we're creating a valley fold here from this point to here. And the way you do that is you want to bring this edge to line up with this outer edge here, like this. So you're going to bring it over so that the edges meet and it comes to a point. That's the other important thing is make sure it comes to a point here and make sure that this edge is flush. And then go ahead and start from here and go ahead and fold it all the way in till it stops all the way inside here, okay? So make sure we've got that. Okay, once we have that, we're going to squash this down but this point lines up with this bottom edge. So kind of get it set so that it's lining up with the bottom edge here. And then go ahead and fold. It's the fold is here and here. Okay. And then this ends here at the bottom. So it should look just like this. Okay. So now we're going to lift up this point, find the pocket that's inside here. Okay, here's, here's my pocket. Here's the point, keeping it flat. We're going to go ahead and slip it inside the pocket, just like this. It's a really cool lock that uh, John designed for this model. It's pretty, pretty cool. It keeps that flat nice and and it, it's a way of distributing the weight, but locking all the layers so that it doesn't come apart on you when, you, when you're flying the plane. So this should look, it should look like this. Make sure that that lines up with the bottom corner. You've got this tucked in and it's the same on both sides. So orient your model like this. You're going to take this wing and we're going to create a fold from this point. It kind of stops right here and then where it ends right here. So you want to lift this up. We're creating a valley fold that starts and be, be a little careful. You want to roll the paper because if you pull too hard, you're going to tear it here. So I would lift it up until it kind of stops, put a little pinch mark there and then roll the paper up until it stops here. These both have a potential of tearing if you're not careful. So just kind of gently find the, the point where it doesn't go any further. Make your pinch here, make your pinch here, and then just go ahead and fold all the way across. Okay, so your model should look just like this. Now you're going to turn it over to the other side and we're going to repeat. So the fold's going from this point here and ending here. So you're going to lift this up. It should match what you've got here on the back side. That might help you as a guide. So if you bring your points together here, chances are it'll be pretty close to what you've got. And then that'll give you that nice, we'll have the nice even symmetrical fold, okay? So this, it should look like this, okay? It should look the same on both sides, okay? Now we go ahead and look up on the top here and we're going to stretch the paper out, starting from the back and then we're squash folding this down just like that. Okay, that looks, that looks better, <laughs> apologize. So hopefully everybody has this. So now we're gonna take this and flip it over to the back side. So you should be looking at this. We've got, you know, kind of like pockets here and it's nice and straight. We're going to create a fold from this point to this point. We're basically taking this bottom point and we're folding it up into a triangle. So you want to keep this centered with this line, this fold that you have here. So the fold, it's pretty much at the max. So it's right here 
in here and just go ahead and fold that. Now you got a lot of layers. If you're using regular copy weight paper, which is 20 pound weight paper, um, you're going to have a lot of thickness right in here. So if you can get um, a bone folder or grab a pen, grab a Sharpie, anything, and just make sure that it's nice and flat and that'll give you, you can kind of go all the way around and make it nice and flat like that. So now we're going to take the model. We're still on the same side and we're going to fold it in half. So you want to fold it in half with this triangle facing up, right? So you're going to hide the triangle. So that folds it in half this way. So it should look like this. You've got kind of like this diamond shape over here. You've got this angle coming up like this. There's a little pocket here. This is the center of the plane. Here's the bottom edge. So our next fold is actually going to be, if you look over here, there's a flap that's right along this edge. Okay, so if you can find that, that's really important because we're going to create a fold that appears just below that, you know, all the way across this way, making sure that these edges are flush. So the first thing is to try, again, you know, you've got a lot of layers here, so you're going to have to really give this a good fold. Um, you want to fold it. And the goal is to, again, it's right below, you'll see this, there's a little flap here, okay? So it's right below that, about maybe an eighth of an inch if you're using eight and a half by 11. If you fold this down, you know, make a little mark there. And then fold all the way across and try to keep this side flush. So you can kind of roll the paper back and forth until you have the edges completely flush here on this side. Okay, so go ahead and fold that. Lined up on this side as well. Okay, give that a good, good, good solid crease. What you wanna be able to see as, as John was telling me is that you see this little triangle up here? We wanna have this little triangle showing, that's kind of important. And I'm actually going to bring mine down just a little bit more because you should have a little bit more triangle showing. If you wanna go ahead and adjust your plane uh, now, that would be great. So I would like to see, you know, a good maybe an eighth of an inch showing here. Let's flatten this out. Okay, so like that, that amount. And then just make sure that this is all nice and flat and these edges are flush and even. Okay, that's gotta be a nice strong crease. And then we're going to turn the model over. Okay. So now I have the, the head of the plane or the heavy part where all the layers are on this side. So again, you wanna fold it, you wanna find your, this, this flap that ends right here. Your fold's gonna end up being below that. So right about here. And it should match what you've got on the other side. So it's really a matter of taking the, the flap. And if you line up this point here, it should end up exactly where you need it to be up here, okay? So let's go ahead and line up the wingtips, hold it in place. I recommend starting the fold from the back here so it doesn't move around on you. And then continue on and then get through all the layers of paper up here. Okay. Okay, so we've got our little triangle showing here. Got our little triangle showing here. It should look like this. And it should look the same on both sides. And when you look at it from the side, it'll look like this. And from the back, it'll look like this. Okay, so now, now that we've got that, we want to make a little fold here on this wingtip. 
And the fold is actually going to be from, you see this point here? So orient your model so that the head of the plane where all the layers are in that triangle is on the left side. Okay, let's open up here. And then the wing comes down. We're gonna fold this here. And you see where this, this point is right here? So the fold is gonna start there and end this point ends up right where this edge is here. So on your wing, you see that, that edge that you've created? So this point is going to come up and meet that edge, but start here at this corner of the wing, okay? So it is, it should look like that. This will be parallel with this part here. This is kind of creates a little bit of the aerodynamic part of the plane. Okay. So it should look like this. Make sure it goes from there to there. Okay. And it lines up there. Turn the model over. We're going to do the same thing. So identify this, this point right here. This point comes up to this edge here. You have your little pocket that goes all the way across here. So that's the edge that you want this point to line up with. So it goes from this point here. And if you're, if you're accurate, it should line up exactly with the back flap. It should be very symmetrical. Okay, make sure that's a nice good crease. And we're done with the folding. Now this is kind of cool. So go ahead and take the plane and open the wings up a little bit and take these I forgot what John called them. Winglets? Oh, he calls them winglets. So bring it up so that it is 45 degrees. I'm sorry, 90 degrees from the plane. Same for the other winglet. So kind of coax that in place. So this should be straight up. Okay. We need to create a slight curve on this section right here. So the best way to do that is to hold this here, pinch it, take your other hand and you wanna push up and you wanna create a slight curved fold here. So you can do this by grabbing this part of the wing and just kind of rolling it back and forth. I kind of like take my thumb and you wanna push up so it kind of curves slightly like this, okay? like that. We want to make the same on this side. So again, hold it from the on the very front, push up with your thumb and try to make this part nice and curved. This is a slight curve. This is what's going to give it a little bit of it'll catch the wind, keep the plane stable and uh, make it boomerang. Okay. And then there's one more thing to do. Okay, so the front of the plane should look like this. You see how it's slightly curved? Just a little bit curved. This kind of forces the wings down a little bit from what John was saying, but you don't want it to be down like this. You want it to still kind of be like, like, a, like a T, okay? So now we're going to turn it to the back side of the plane, this back part here. And what we want to do is, you see this section here? We want to just kind of make a little bit of a lip. You want to curve the paper up just a little bit here. We don't want to fold it, that's, that's key. We're just creating a little lift, a little curve. Hopefully you can see that just kind of like right in the middle there. He says, this is what's gonna make it boomerang and come around. So do the same on the other side, try to make it symmetrical. So again, you wanna just lift it up. So it's gonna go up, not down. So we create a little lift. Hopefully you can see that it just kind of curves up. Just a little bit right here. Oh, that's a good shot. So you can see it just comes up a little bit like that. So now you're ready to fly this thing.
the trick is, okay, if you fly it straight, let me go back to this screen here. If you fly it straight, it's going to loop up back to you. What you want to do is you want to kind of practice that, which is kind of fun. When you want to make it boomerang and have it come around back to you this way, you're going to kind of throw it at an angle. Now, uh, John says when you go to, uh, to fly it, don't hold it in the middle of the plane, but hold it in the front part where all the layers are here. Okay, so not, not this back part of the plane, but on the front of the plane. So kind of hold it not at the very front, but kind of like in the middle of where the front is. Oh, let me see if I can show you that. So right about here. Make sure your wings are kind of are, are the same. Make sure you have your little curve happening here in the front. And so if you fly it straight, it should go up and then come back to you. If you fly it at an angle, so if you see how I'm throwing, if I throw it this way, um, it should loop around and come back to you here. Uh, the, and so if I invite you guys to try it. I kind of set my camera up here because I have a lot of room back here. So I'm going to try first to fly it straight and see if I can make it loop around to me this way. All right, let's give this a shot. So we're going to fly it, holding it in the front. Well, actually, it kind of started to boomerang already on me. If we fly it at an angle, so I'm flying it at an angle here, you're kind of, you want to fly it not down, but fly it out. It should, it's supposed to be. You also have to kind of, um, as John said, you have to kind of throw it a little bit on the hard side. There we go. And it comes back to me. 